Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today we might have the most challenging reel in the bag project that I've ever had, and uh, we'll thank Asante for that. This is a Calcutta 700. I'm told this is the original reel in the bag. I'm going to assume this is the original frame. He tells me he has a parts reel and that he has a, uh, another frame. So, <laughs> sort of get interesting. Frame, spool. This must be the side plate from the original. Well, we're going to try and put this one back together again. We may or may not be successful. We're going to find out as we do this. And a lot of times, you know, you see something like this and you just know you're in for well, kind of a long day. But on the other side of it is, well, what can I do and how to, what's the logical approach to this to make this all seem like it can come together and uh, be a reel that can be given a second chance. This parts reel is grinding, so I'll assume that that's the issue there. I look at this frame though, and the parts reel's frame seems to be nicer. So maybe we'll use the parts reel's thing and try and rebuild the side plate on this one. So Asante took it apart, I assume, because he tells me that's, he has the original reel. I guess maybe he was trying to figure out how to put it back together again, and that's where it all collapsed on him. Well, a couple of tips. If you're starting a service on a reel, one of the things you want to do for sure is to go out to the web, get a, uh, a schematic of the reel. This one came from reelschematic.com. And that'll tell you kind of what to look for. It also tells me how to try and look for it on the back end of this thing. Uh, and then, uh, well, have a plan. Your plan should be involve what you're going to take apart, when you're going to take it apart, and how you're going to put it back together again. I always recommend that if you are going to be in that situation, one of the things you would like to do is to find a uh, common ground. Start with sub-assemblies, work your way outward, and, uh, well, just kind of have a lot of patience and a sense of humor because, well, we all know we're going to be laughing at some of this. There's no question about it. Well, actually, what I'm finding out is this whole frame and assembly seems to be in better condition. All of these seem to be kind of battered. Uh, so maybe it's just the gear set that we need to take care of. Let's take a look inside. This seems to be working okay. I'm going to spin our uh, line guide assembly. That's working. I'll make sure it doesn't catch on the sides. The uh, spool on this one seems to be a little bit better. Maybe we'll use that spool. But this one has a bearing on it. No, nope, it has a bushing on that one too. All right. This is a big reel. This is a reel that kind of is along the same line as the um, Ambassador 7000. It's a bigger reel. I'm wondering does this... Yep, should have, should have the same fit there. Sometimes you just got to play around with it, you got to work on instinct. There we go. Turn this thing, make sure that it's working well. Seems to be spinning fine. We're going to just leave that assembly like that. We'll come back and we'll oil that thing. You want to get the parts off the table as you can as well. So you know that we're not going to be working on those. Let's just get those out of, out of the way. If we need one, we'll come back to it. Now I want to take my parts. We can identify it as the part here. Empty those out. And we know what we're going to want to deal with first, and that is the bridge. We're going to assume that the reason why this one is not working well is worn gears. So we're going to start by removing the handle and the side plate, kind of working our way into uh, the issues. I hope to get a good look. This one has been stripped. Remember what I always say about putting these things on square? This one's not on square. That could be a reason why the thing isn't working the way it should either. I think what we'll do is we'll just put those... Oh, take, looks like there's another piece in here too. And that's kind of interesting because a... Uh, 
sure what's coming on and what's going off here. Just gonna lay these to the side for now. I know the handle isn't the cause of the issue. There's some missing springs and some other things going on on the reel that he says is the original. So we're gonna take the star adjuster off at the moment and now we're getting up to that point where it was stripped. That post. He has given me a replacement post or the original post I guess. So we'll see what we can do there. Well, while we're doing this, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you uh, like the idea of uh, fixing fishing reels, if you like to keep your reels maintained, if you like to know how the reels are made, how they come apart. Sometimes they just come apart like this, I guess, and uh, how to get them running for a long time to come, then uh, this is the channel for you. I have quite a library of videos. I think I'm over 2,000 videos now. Cover a lot of different reels. You can find many of the ones that maybe you're looking for in the library. And uh, well, I'm always getting new reels in, so it's always a good thing to uh, to see what I'm working on and decide if that's something that you would like to, to watch. All right, let's move this up and out of the way and see what we have here. And this one, uh, well, it looks more complete than this one, so I think from a bridge standpoint, we'll be okay as well. Let's, uh, let's just assume that the issue here is all about the gear, and that's why the grind, and uh, see if we can't work that way out. This is a little shield that comes off, it just kind of falls out, there's two prongs in the back. There's some washers on the top end of this as well, so I'm just going to lay that off to the side. Notice where those springs are, I notice the, uh, the one spring that's in here is pretty beat up. But uh, we need the springs to be removed here so that we can gain access to the carriage. Most of the time, the, the pieces and parts that are on this reel, for the most part, um, don't have an effect on performance, but gears do. Drag washers, of course, the consumables are the ones that you really need to to pay attention to. So for example, the, the back plate on this is a silver back plate. That does, or a, a, a plastic back plate. That's not going to wear. The one I noticed that uh, he took off is actually struggling there. We're going to take the gear set out of the other one. We're going to check the washers. This one is always tough. I don't know what it is that Shimano does with these, but they always seem to be a little bit harder than the average one to, uh, to get off. There we go. There's a little clip in the end there. Here's your washer, your trip mechanism. This is your yoke assembly. Okay, so this is a, um, a little trip spring that goes on here. This, is, this was missing on the other one. I'm going to flood the case, and then I want to replace that gear shaft, which seems stripped. Oh, both of these are beat up. Wow. I think somebody was cross-stripping both of these. This one actually looks a little bit better. I think we're going to have to go with this one. Okay. You notice that there was a grind going on in the other gear. So I want to take this opportunity to clean this one up. Let's take a side-by-side -side look here. Well, they're both in pretty good condition. It may be that it's the pinion gear making all that noise. These have, uh, it appears to be a Carbon Tex um, washer in them. But the other ones appear to have a fabric washer and that's probably why it's stuck. Yeah, these have the older leather fabric ones in the, uh, the parts reel, so we'll, uh, we'll replace those. And what I want to do right now is I want to clean this, this main gear. So let's put all this stuff off to the side for a moment. This is where the schematic is going to help. Because you start mixing and matching pieces, you start trying to figure out 
what's the best alternative when you're taking several reels and trying to make one out of them. And uh, well, from time to time you're going to find yourself in a situation where you've mixed and matched and have gotten it backwards, incorrect, wrong or otherwise. And uh, doing this will help you to, uh, to get it right. Here's your click ratchet and washer. He's got a click ratchet, no washer in the original reel. So yeah, I think we're better using the foundation of this one as the, uh, the way forward. Just cleaning those parts off and I want to get a, a cotton swab in here. This one's clean. So I don't need to do too much, but I do want to mop up a little bit of that excess. I do want to oil the trip mechanism behind your yoke. If you need to remove the yoke, you can. There's an E-clip there. A little bit over here where it's going to slide. That's your trip lever. And uh, let's uh, see what we can do to put some of this back together. I'm going to go ahead and put that trip on. Put the plastic washer that goes on top of that. Turn our attention to the yoke and the pinion gear. This is the second time on a reel that Asante gave me where having the spare actually helps. You're not going to always find yourself that lucky. And in this case, I can pretty much say without any certainty that uh, you'll have an issue with that schematic trying to work through that. All right, this is the one from the original reel. It's the pinion gear. There's a lot of dirt in this one. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to spray that with our penetrating oil, let that loosen some of it. I'm going to grab a, a awl to kind of come through the channels here and get rid of that old grease. You can see how it's just piling up here. That could have caused some of the performance. While I'm doing this, I'm checking to make sure that the teeth are aligned properly. And you may want to go around a couple of times on that to get this right. You can just see all the dirt coming out of this. So this one should work nicer when it's done. Actually, I have a safety pin. It's a little bit narrower in dimension. You can fit into those slots, so I'm going to do that. I'm kind of checking for roughness, too, as I'm doing this. One more time with the scrub brush. All right, we got a lot of the old dirt and grease out of this one. This is the original pinion gear. So we're going to go with the original gear set. We'll see how we do. I did put grease onto the yoke. I'm going to load the yoke onto the pinion gear. I'm going to get grease where we just removed all this debris. And we're going to set that in. The slot side on that pinion gear faces forward. So the rounded edge is in the back. Let's go ahead and take the second gear then. Actually, this is the original gear set. We did the cleaning on this. We checked the teeth. These seem to be in pretty good condition. And of course, I didn't have the reel apart originally, so it's even hard for me to judge what the performance was or what the issue was when this was taken apart for the first time. So if this has got a clattering gear set, well, we're kind of out of luck with that then, because, well, both of these are going to uh, suffer the same issue. I'm going to put the case back on now. If it falls off, so be it. I think I can't put it back on because the main gear is going to come in anyway. All right, let's grab the main gear, put that in. I get the two things. I just knocked the pinion gear out, and this washer's got a seat onto the back of the main gear. So let's put it on here first. And my guess is that's the wrong washer. A different washer. 
There we go. That's that's a better washer. So this is a spacer washer. It goes on to the main gear. Flip that and get that down there. We need to merge it with that pinion gear again. Okay, I needed to turn the camera off. I needed to find a washer that the diameter fits on. So that'll be next. Let's put that main gear in. it snaps down that's always an issue with these I'm going to use the uh, carbon text ones that were in one of these I'm not sure which one first one is a wider one and then we follow that there's two more there's a flat or rectangular center with a uh, flat side on both that's the inner one Second of the uh, carbon tex washers, and we have a eared washer has points on it. The points face down, and they go in the slots of the main gear. And we have this harder washer, the blue one, and this one goes up top for the gear sleeve to accept. You're going to notice that there's points on the gear sleeve, or two studs. Those go in that piece. Well, this should be it in terms of the inner workings of the reel, with the exception of those two springs that we took off before. So I'm going to put those two springs back on those long posts. I'm going to take that case next. The case kind of works its way. There's two holes that will accept the base of the case. And I'm going to find the side plate that looks the best. Kind of hard to say. This one's got better writing. Both of them are kind of dented up. And we'll go with the original case then. I want to make sure that the case is cleaned in the back. This case has a bearing in it. This one does not. So I think we just figured out what case we're going to use. This one's missing a screw, but it's in the uh, in the parts tray here. All right, let's just line this up. Bring this over and down. What we're doing right now is we're getting jammed on this case. That piece with the stud has popped out. So I need to make sure that that stud is, is reloaded again so that this can go in square. There we go. A lot of patience required when you're doing something like this. All right. The two 
five plate screws go on. Well, lots of cleaning on this one. Lots of uh, checking for the assembly of it being the right way. Kind of sharing pieces and parts between the two frames and the like. Then we got a series of these Belleville washers, or they're concave and convex. There's four of these. I like to kind of go upside down side with these. That kind of helps with the tension and I want to just check to make sure that's all there is in this. Well we have a small flat washer that goes next after the four. So we can find a small flat washer in here. And I'm not seeing it anywhere. So I'm going to pause and see if I can't find a small flat washer as a substitute for that. If you don't your uh, drag will be bottoming out. So I'll pause this for a moment, see if I can't get a, an acceptable alternative. Okay, well fortunately I'm a pack rat and I keep a lot of uh, spare pieces that come off of reels that, uh, uh, well, there's their idea of a second chance is to, uh, well, to uh, serve as a part to another reel. With that done now, this can go on. And as I noticed, both of these are a little bit banged up, so I'm going to hold that shaft and try and bring that over. You need to make sure that these things go on square. If they don't go on square, that's how these things get banged up. They get cross-stripped and then you get into trouble. Well, everything I'm looking at here says that the pieces that remain are pretty much duplicates. And then, as I mentioned, I took some from one reel, some from the other reel, and I think that'll give us the best chance. So I did notice that the one reel was a little bit grindy, the one marked the parts reel, so we changed out the gear set for the one that was in the original reel. The drags in the original reel were compromised, so we took the drags from the parts reel, kind of made this one sort of the... Uh, found out that the washer was incorrect in, in one of those reels as well. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put some grease on this. We know this is, I guess, the original because it's missing that screw there, but the screw is in the, the other part, so we're okay there. Noticing before I go too far, I didn't tighten that one down. We left that one floating while I could get the other piece in. Let's tighten that down, make sure this one's tightened. We want to align the circle here with the circle there, so it's going to be something around here. Then we need to align the screw holes. There you go. So this scroll hole is correct. Hand tighten them. Don't tighten them down all the way yet. Make sure all, all of your screws seat first. Interestingly enough, that screw is short. So there were various models of this made. And well, I think you see one of the differences. Some of these models have a longer so I'm at a shorter screw. That one may have to sit. You might be able to find a uh, replacement somewhere along the line. All right, let's put the handle on. There should be a uh, tension ring. Goes on next. And the handle goes on. Handle screw, or nut rather. And the same idea here, make sure that they're on, hand thread them, and tighten them down. 
what I'm thinking is this screw probably belongs down below, but let's get through the rest of this process. Tighten your handle screw up. Tighten your drag down. You have a little cap to install. It's a hold down cap for your handle nut. Your handle nut screw. And I would say for the most part we've got uh, got a complete reel here. Using various pieces and parts. And we'll see how we did. Always a challenge to wonder uh, if it's going to work okay. Shimano Calcutta 700. Saw some issues in the, uh, the drag stack. Pieces all over the place. I think we got one that's going to work. So let's give it a test. Well, it's working, but we still have that same kind of grind going on with it. I think we got bad gears throughout. Well, I'm going to check. I don't think I have any more gear sets. We, uh, we used the two that, uh, that came with the reel. I'm also going to check to see if this screw belongs below. Because that may... That, but you can hear how the, uh, how the gear grind is making its noises. All right. Well, uh, let me play around with it a little bit. We'll come back on a video for a, a conclusion. Okay, well, after repeating the exercise a couple of times, checking the various uh, gear combinations of pinion gear and uh, main gear, I think there's four or five of them, uh, I've settled on this one. It's a lot better than we had before. It's not perfect, but uh, there's a whole lot less vibration in this reel and it does turn a lot smoother and easier than it did uh, previously. And uh, I can tell that when I go to free spool, that spool will spin much nicer now. So I think the, the core issue here, other than the fact that it was in uh, several reels here, that the core issue really was in getting one to work. I think we've managed to do that. I think Asante can take this fishing. He will notice a little bit of vibration, but. You know, if he had the reels before, uh, you know, he'll know whether that's normal or better or worse or whatever. But I'm kind of happy with the way that this turned out, given the uh, the, the chances for success and uh, the ability maybe to, uh, to just fail completely. Well, that's it. That's the Shimano Calcutta 700. Well, it's one of several pieces of Shimano Calcutta 700. But uh, this one's back and ready to go fishing again with a whole bunch of spare parts just in case any of the ones in this reel fail again. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you stay watching. For our first responders and essential personnel, thank you for all you do to keep us safe. I really appreciate your career choice and dedication and uh, the uh, services that you provide us. To everyone, well, lessons learned here. You may have a whole bunch of parts, but it may be a junkyard of parts and sometimes, well, they're not just going to uh, to work as well as maybe you thought that they would, but with uh, continue plugging and playing, well, you never know. Maybe you can get something that can be given a second chance. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.